Welcome back. We have checked into the hotel. And our next goal is to find the notary that we'll need now that we know that Anna Vorlberg has passed away. I guess that's the funeral procession we saw. So let's get going. I do really love the backgrounds in most of this game. The architecture is very unique. I'm assuming those are designs by Buena Sokal. It's very nice looking. Looks like we can go that way or that way. And I'm going to go this way first. As before, there really is nothing to look at though. So that is like there's no way to get the character to comment on anything. Which is always something I like in games, so that's kind of a shame. It's over here. Um, gate? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Something's missing. Yeah, that's not working. Presumably we'll have to get in there. But we can't right now. Doesn't look like it's missing gears, and that's the only thing we have. Can we go to this building? No need to go down there. I guess not. Yeah, did the f like Mr. Marson said he would send us the address, which I don't think he really did. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean, it gives us his name, but not his address. And even if we had his address, we'd still have no way to find it. Because we forgot to ring a GPS. It's a very quiet town. Um, alright. Some more of this in these interesting houses. No need to go down there. Which we can't go into. There's a guy here, presumably uh, the baker. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. Indeed. So I'm afraid the boulangerie patisserie is closed. Looks like they have some crane up here to hoist things through the upstairs window. No need to go down there. So no, we can't go into the bakery either. Yep, sometimes this game has screens that scroll. And it is, um, on occasion, hard to tell. Because when you can exit a screen, your cursor lights up. But when you can scroll, it does not. So, sometimes when it looks like you're at a dead end, you have to try anyway. Because, um... Maybe the screen is going to scroll and you don't know that. Um, let's see, there's two benches here. It looks like there's something on one of those. It's a newspaper, the Valdelen Gazette. Wednesday, April 17th, 2002. Mourning the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts. Let us pay homage today to Anna Vorlberg, who died peacefully yesterday at the age of 86. The great lady devoted her life to, the, to her business and our community. This formidable woman had an extraordinary energy, a force that allowed our automaton technology to develop and to make our valley continually proud. Her vitality was matched by her generosity and goodness, which has marked all of Valadelen's inhabitants. The mayor of our town has declared that today would be a day of collective mourning in honor of Madame Vorlberg. Her funeral will take place this morning at 10 a.m. in the parish church 
officiated by the town's own priest. Hopefully that doesn't mean that the... that the notary is going to be closed too. Alright, looks like there's an editorial here too. Anna Vorlberg's death marks the end of an era in Velle de Laine. Madame Vorlberg was an outstanding woman who presided over Vorlberg manufacturing for more than 50 years. Her death seems to bring further loss in its wake, sounding the death knell of our, our automaton factory, the economic heart of our town. It is impossible to view her passing without concern for the future of our valley. In the last decade, computers, video games, and electronic robots have become predominant in our consumer society, rendering traditional clockwork mechanisms obsolete. The age of the wind-up toy is over. Such technology cannot compete in the modern economic climate, and it has fallen by the wayside. It would have been definitively consigned to oblivion if Vorlberg Manufacturing had not upheld its renown of our affair, helping Valadilene to remain economically active. However, today the industry has lost its spiritual force, and the future looks bleak. Maybe the time has come to celebrate the prospective American takeover of the factory. But what will be the cost to the soul of Valadilene? That depends. Does our... Um, toy-making client want to continue making automatons, or do they just want to use the factory for other purposes? We don't actually know. Ecology. The protest group Mountain Peace demonstrated yesterday near the site of the new Espia Dam. Espia Dam? I don't know if that's French or not. Um, they claim the construction of the dam has damaged the blue warbler's natural habitat. Intervention of the part of the forest ranger was necessary to disperse the demonstrators. And there's an ad. Stiff joints, chronic hangovers, need a spring in your step. Look no further, Dr. Schweitzer's miracle elixir. One remedy for a thousand woes. Yeah, you're about a hundred years too late for that kind of thing. Um. Anyway, there's a building here. And we can look at it instead of go try to go into it, so it might be interesting. Um, alright. That's, uh, bizarre, to say the least. Hmm. Looks like he can look at things. Under the assumption that this is the um, notary, and considering this is the only building we've seen so far that we can approach, that is not a bad guess. Let's try and um, show him that introduction letter we got. Alright, that seems to have done the trick. At least they're not implying that the, that the automaton actually understood what it was reading. It was just something that um, the notary was looking through. What's this? I should talk to the notary first. Oh, alright. I guess that's a good point. We should talk to him before we start stealing his stuff. Um, looks like this is a reception of some kind. No sign of anyone here, so let's just go in and talk to the notary. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. Um, let's, I guess. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course, I was waiting for you. 
All right. Let's go through the list, I guess. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... An heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Varlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time. It was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this, too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive. So when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Barlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Okay. That, uh... That uh, definitely makes things more complicated. Alright, so he was already reading um, some of this. I think up to here. So let's continue from down here. I have never had the chance to see my dear brother again. Fortunately though, Hans and I have remained very close and fought. Throughout the years, I have been able to follow his meandering life as he sporadically sent me news. On occasions he would write me letters, but they were rare, as my brother, since his unfortunate accident, has maintained a phobia for the written word. However, he has sent me several plans of automatons that I ha eagerly had made up at the factory, and I will admit that they have largely contributed to the success of Vorlberg creations. Hans always had a marvelous gift of breathing life into objects through a clever combination of cogwheels and springs. My little brother is a genius in the true sense of the word. Let us return to the matter in hand. Rest assured of my personal conviction that my brother will not object in the slightest to the sale of the factory. If I have already passed away when you come to read this letter, it is to him that the matter should be addressed. I received this last letter six months ago, posted from the north of Siberia. I regret to say that I have received no more recent news. I am aware of the difficult situation in which my confession and lack of further details leave you. But I wish to die with a clear conscience. I would be grateful, dear Metro of Voltaire, if you could inform the American law firm with whom I have been dealing of these developments. I have grown so old, so tired. Well, well, 
I'm assuming that's supposed to say with. With all my respect and final greetings. Anna Vorlberg. Okay. So there's an heir. We need to talk to him. And he's in Siberia. Spelt normally, by the way. Not with a Y, like the name of the game. So that's... Uh, that's going to make uh, things a bit difficult. It's not like we can just call him if we don't even know exactly where he is. Something tells me Kate is not going to be happy about this. And Mr. Marson probably even less so. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Varlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Okay, I guess we can't talk to him about any of the other topics. It's just kind of, uh, annoying. Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. But first I had to spin in place. Can we go through this door? No need to go down there. I guess not. All right, um, I guess we need to, uh, figure out what happened to Hans. Good places to look for clues would be the factory, I guess, as well as, uh, maybe the cemetery, if there's a body in there that is presumably not Hans's, or maybe there's no body at all. The key to the factory is, um, uh, in here somewhere. And look at this. Um, okay. Looks like some kind of stamp. Can I stamp the brochure? The answer is no. Very surprising. Um, I guess we don't have any reason to use this. His head opens for some reason, I don't know why. And it does not work anyway. Somebody stamped the uh, leather underneath it for some reason. Approved, I guess, is the stamp. Good to know if we need to approve anything. We can ask the notary to do so. No sign of a key here. And the only thing that's here is this in the umbrella stand. Which we can take now. And it is described as a telescopic key, so presumably that is what lets us go into the factory. Nothing else here, so let's move on. Can we call Mr. Marson and tell him about this? Probably not going to be happy. You have reached Marson and Lawman Associates. We're sorry, but all our lines are busy. Please call back later. I guess not. Probably better to wait until we have some actual news, though. Like when we know where... 
he is. Um, let's go further this way. There are more buildings here that you can try to go into, but you actually can't. And here we have reached the end of the streets, by the looks of it. There's a gate there. Which is closed. By the way, um, cave walks when you click, runs when you double click, pretty standard. And you're gonna want to use the double clicking. <laughs> Because we have a lot of distance to traverse in this game. It's not even too bad here, but really one of my major complaints about this game is the... Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan... You don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. All right, well, this is actually the uh, phone's primary use in this game is for you to get calls. Um, we could go into the factory, but I actually want to check the other side of the street first. There's the hotel again. And it sounds like Dan is her boyfriend? Husband? Not sure. It seems he really wants her to come back, although it seems like it's more because he wants her to be at that dinner about some contracts than because he misses her. Which is kind of, uh, weird. That church over there? Anyway, I was saying one of the biggest problems in this game is the amount of empty space that you have to traverse to get places. You can already kind of, uh, tell here. Like, we just crossed, like, eight screens to get to, uh, the church over here. And there was nothing on any of those screens. They're pretty to look at, sure. And in this particular part of the game, it's not too bad. But there are a few parts where you will have to basically run back and forth between two places that are on opposite ends of an area multiple times. Hello. Kate, so what's new? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate. Don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. 
All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Morrison. You can count on me. I... Darn it. He sounds nice. It's not like this is Kate's fault. She'd have gotten here a few days earlier. This wouldn't have been a problem. Hopefully it won't take too long to find Hans. This is the cemetery by the looks of it, so let's see if uh, we can find his grave at least. Um, there appears to be nothing here. Nothing we can interact with anyway, and the screen does not scroll. Can't even read the gravestones for funny epitaphs like so many other games. How about this way? Um, that looks special. You know, something tells me this might be the Vorlberg's uh, tomb. I can't go that way. But it seems to be close, so if we do want to take a look at Hans's fake grave, then we'll have, gonna have to find a way in there. But how do we do that? Maybe the answer is in the church? point it's locked if so we're not getting in that way not without a key anyway uh, let's see what's this way um, this is a doesn't weird look looking like door. that works okay and I guess it doesn't work whatever that means Hmm. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Indeed it does. Looks like this might be the spot for those gears that Momo was playing with. Did he take them from here? Or were they just removed before? The game does not let you put them in wrong places, so there's not much of a puzzle here. Just place them where... They can go. Oh, it's an elevator. That is not obvious. Takes us up to the clock tower. Where, um... Some birds are nesting, apparently. Can't look at the view, which is too bad. And, of course, because this is Valley de Lens, so why not? Uh, there is an automaton that, I guess, operates the church bells? Or is this some kind of organ? Kind of hard to tell. If that's going to work... It looks like something's missing. It looks like there's a slot or something that we have to put something in. Isn't gonna work just by us being here, so that's kind of useless. For now, anyway. So we can head back downstairs. I have to say, Atres would be proud of this elevator. Okay, well we can't um, do much there. It looks like we can go further back. But we'll do that in the next video.